my little tattletales. Listen, did we call it or did we call it yesterday? If you were paying attention, we said Beyonce is about to drop a new album, baby, and she did not disappoint. Renaissance is literally going to be in our ears July 29th. This is Beyonce's sixth album. No, I'm sorry. Her first album in six years. She's officially posted the release date. And y'all, we have for a fact that there's going to be 16 tracks on this. 16 tracks. Listen, this is going to be incredible. Now, listen, the Wilshire, won't she start it less than two weeks ago when Beyonce wiped her social media channels clean? We knew something was coming. But not only that, the newspapers in London were reporting that Beyonce was quietly shopping around venues and they were thinking she was going to do a bunch of pop-up co concerts. Now, as you know, Beyonce always starts in the UK. This is a track list, by the way. 16 tracks. You can already go to title and see the tracks. You just can't see the names of them. Y'all, it is coming soon. Again, where there's smoke, sometimes there's fire. And it looks like Beyonce is about to set everything ablaze, ablaze, ablaze. Now listen, what is this album going to be about? I can only be honest with you because Beyonce's cover art always gives like a clue into what it's going to be. I literally do think it's going to be kind of like a 70s, 80s rock retro with some type of punk vibe to it. I'm not joking. Look at the references she's making. Definitely references to the 70s diva. We know that's Beyonce's favorite decade. You see the patent leather and the whole like uh, you know, the, the sunglasses, definitely giving 80s pop icon, but neo 80s, neo 80s. And then here you see that punk kind of cyber rock and roll. You see the patent leather boots. It's giving cyber futuristic. You guys, I think Beyonce is about to carve out a new genre. I, literally, what else could it be? Now, as we know, Beyonce's been keeping her head down. A lot of people thought she actually retired from music. And I'm not going to lie. I thought so, too. I didn't like it. But I thought she might have, too, because, you know, she was busy with her kids, enjoying being a family. But like Beyonce says, she literally says it every single time she enters the recording studio. It's cathartic. It's therapy for her. It's where she truly feels like she discovers herself touches her soul. So I guess when someone's work is their passion, which is so much of their focus and goal, I guess it's impossible to stay away. But honestly, Beyonce says that usually it takes a year or two years to get her best work. She says sometimes she goes through as many as 20,000 sounds until she finds the right one for a track record. She's had six years, six years to cook up beauty Six years to cook up artistry. And again, you guys, when are we going to start having the conversation? I know a lot of you guys scoffed. We need to have a conversation about whether Beyonce is actually a musical genius. We credit Michael Jackson. We credit uh, the Beatles. We credit Prince. Beyonce, singer, songwriter. She's the best entertainer of our generation. I don't care if you don't believe me. You can fight me. But when it comes to harmony, riffs, musical arrangements, Beyonce can't be beat. There is some sort of genius that is behind it. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments. And you know what? I might even do an album review. I might actually do an album review. Maybe we'll do a live listening party. But let me know, my little tattletales, and I will talk to you later. Bye.